So I'm walking through this field. It's pitch black. I can't really see much, but I try anyways. <sighs> Just more grass. I keep walking for a while, but then it hits me. Where am I? How'd I get here? How long have I been walking for? Ah, the hell is that? The sun? No. Too sudden. A flashlight? No. Too bright. What could it be? I'm not trying to be blinded, so I look away. What the? Because of the light, I can now clearly see my surroundings. A priest? Looks like he's praying. But... Seems like he can't see me. Okay. Can this get any weirder? I gotta figure out what's going on. As I get closer and closer, the heat from the light becomes unbearable. It feels like I'm walking right into the sun when... Suddenly, I'm okay. The heat's gone and... Oh, no. It's still so bright, but I can just barely see it's some sort of man? Woman? It's got wings. Lots of them and a sword. It's on fire. That must be where the heat was coming from. Suddenly, something's not right. I feel like there's someone else in my mind. I can't move. This is it for me. I don't know about you, but as far as dreams go, this one was pretty epic. I mean, if only it was just a dream though. After that, I couldn't really get back to sleep, so I decided to grab a snack from the 24-hour gas station nearby. On the way there, I called my girlfriend, Anastasia, to tell her about my crazy dream. I thought I was just talking to her. It never really even crossed my mind that someone else might be listening in. Hello, Stephen. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Let me go! We don't keep prisoners here. You're free to leave, but... <clears throat> no way. Oh, cool. Yeah, we don't keep prisoners, but we're kind of stuck in a giant underwater secret base. Guess I should have read the fine print. What is this place? I'm happy to tell you more if you're ready to listen. SCP stands for Secure, Contain, and Protect. And that is exactly what our organization does. We catalog, study, and secure thousands of phenomena, artifacts, beings, and more. Our mission is to shield mankind from all types of anomalies, maintaining normalcy amongst the masses. Every anomaly gets assigned a number, for example, SCP-999. Most anomalies are harmless and can even get along with people. But there are others that pose a threat to human life, and in some cases, are potentially world-ending. To rank anomalies, we classify them into three main categories. First, safe, which means they have a little risk of escaping and pose a minimal threat. Then, Euclid, which means the SCP is unpredictable, as we still have much to learn about it. Finally, Keter. 
for all the SCPs that are nearly impossible to contain or destroy, and represent a major threat to human life. Every person in this facility also has a ranking from 0 to 5. This determines their level of access to the SCPs. More dangerous SCPs require a more specialized, higher ranking personnel to handle them. What? From my dream? What is it? SCP-001 Class Euclid slash Keter Also known as the Gatekeeper It is one of the most dangerous SCPs we've ever encountered If it's so dangerous, why isn't it contained? We've tried more than once First, we instructed a Class D personnel to approach the gatekeeper as closely as possible on foot. But upon making visual eye contact with the gatekeeper, Please. after that, the subject immediately turned and walked away. Despite repeated orders to continue with the experiment, Class D personnel refuses to obey and is terminated. We learned from our mistakes and adapted. In our second approach, we sent in a remote operated research drone, but once it got within a one kilometer radius of the gatekeeper, it was obliterated by a heat signature rivaling that of the sun. So, we had to be more extreme. On our third attempt, we sent in 100 drones from various angles simultaneously. But this time, once they reached the 1 km radius, all 100 drones are simultaneously obliterated. The designated observers at Site Zero reported that the gatekeeper appeared to strike in all directions at once, without deviating from its stance at all. But the mission wasn't a complete failure. We learned something. And what's that? Whatever the gatekeeper is, it appears to be guarding something. I beg them not to, but I suppose it's human nature to take and conquer. My superiors decided to take a more aggressive approach. But all we managed to do was make it angry. The entire military camp launch site and all personnel completely wiped out. The gatekeeper proved to be an even greater threat than we initially thought. We had to take more extreme measures, so we tried an intercontinental ballistic missile from a long-range submarine. But that was... An unspeakable failure. You were the cause of the 2004 tsunami? So many innocent lives. You should be ashamed of yourselves. The SCP Foundation fights for the greater good. Sometimes that means innocent lives are lost in the process. Greater good? All your firepower didn't even scratch it. Exactly. That's why we had to take an alternative approach. For the first time, we tried to eliminate one SCP with another SCP. But when we asked, we were told, SCP-076, I have a no. mission. Just no. 
considering the results of Experiment F next time, I didn't ask. SCP-073, Class Euclid, also known as Kane. Kane was dropped off at Site Zero and instructed to walk towards the light without being told why. Given Kane's cooperative personality and indestructible nature, we felt he was the perfect SCP for the job. But... No, 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 I can't. Attention, Kane. You are to continue marching forward. Please. Continue marching forward. After that, the SCP Administrator ordered us to abandon all further experiments on SCP-001. So you're telling me that there's some godlike being out there that can end the world and there's nothing we can do about it? Precisely. Because of the nature of the Gatekeeper, no containment procedures are necessary. Instead, 24-7 monitoring is to take place from a safe 10km distance known as Site Zero. The location of Site Zero is known only to the current SCP Administrator and a single Overseer level agent assigned to monitor the Gatekeeper from Site Zero. This agent has a list of specialized prerequisites to maintain good relations with one or more organized Abrahamic faiths to maintain on hand a supply of the following holy water, a rosary, crucifix, cross, prayer rug, or other symbol blessed by an Abrahamic cleric of bishop or equivalent higher rank, a copy of Abrahamic scriptures, and standard emergency supplies in mobile form. Said agent is authorized to take any action necessary should SCP-001 become active and is required to immediately alert the administrator and all other overseer level agents should SCP-001 show any change in behavior, as this may constitute the beginning of an end of the world scenario. This is a lot, but what does it have to do with me? With our experiments, we found that when any personnel gets too close, the gatekeeper instructs them to leave. But with you, it told you to prepare. This has only happened once before, and that person went on to create the SCP Foundation. Like I said, we don't keep prisoners here, but I ask you, would you like to learn more about the SCP?